in this question it's given that if mth term of an ap is 1 upon n and the nth term is 1 upon m show that sum of mn terms m times n it's actually m times n so right is half mn plus 1 so what does this mean so it's like mth term like sixth term let's say m is equal to 6 so sixth term of an ap is let's say 1 upon 7 and seventh term is let's say 1 upon 6 that is what mn and just an example to make it clear to you so sixth term is 1 upon 7 and seventh term is 1 upon 6 then you have to show that mnth term that is 6 into 7 that is 42nd term 42nd term is given by half into 6 into 7 plus 1 something like that this is just an example i don't know whether m is 6 or n is 7 but just to explain what is mnth term mth term and nth term right so if you consider 6 as m n as and 7 as n so sixth term is 1 upon n that is 1 upon 7 and seventh term is 1 upon 6 so mnth term will be 6 into 7 that is 40 second term that's an ex just an example to show you or make you understand this concept or question question now how to go about it so direct application of formula it requires i believe so mth term of an ap is 1 by n so you know how to find out mth term so 1 upon n is first term let's say first term is a plus what m minus minus 1 d where a is equal to first term and d is common difference right so this is given now 1 upon m similarly will be a plus n minus 1d this is 1 and this is 2 now we can eliminate either of the variables so let's say we do 1 minus 2 so 1 minus 2 will give you 1 minus 1 by n minus 1 upon m is equal to a and a will get cancelled and it will be m minus 1d minus n minus 1d which is clearly m minus n d correct now on the left hand side take the common denominator mn so it will become like that this is equal to m minus n d i hope how how do you calculate common denominator this should not be an issue so mn will be the common denominator the denominator so now where there is one on top of n you can have m and minus n right this is how you have to do this so mn divided by this n will leave you m that m multiplied by this one will give you this one here similarly mn divided by this m is n and n multiplied by this one comes here and becomes n right this is what we have done i hope you know this just for those who you know at times struggle in finding the common denominator hence equivalent fraction so hence now assuming m minus n is not equal to zero why is this needed because if m is equal to n then you can't cancel these two terms so assuming assuming so let assuming m is not equal to n which is fair enough assumption because uh, we are talking about ms term being 1 by n and ns term being 1 by m and all that so assuming that this is not true so hence what will you get you will get d is equal to 1 upon mn assuming that what m is not equal to n right d is 1 upon mn so one variable you could figure out let's find out a now so what is a from 1 if you see from first equation a is 1 upon n minus m minus 1d from 1 okay so this is 1 upon n minus m minus 1 and d is 1 by mn okay so this becomes 1 by n minus 1 by n again because m times 1 by mn will give you 1 by n and plus 1 by mn so this again goes so a is 1 upon mn right so we got a as 1 upon mn and is equal to d both are same so what to find out we have to find out mnth term and sum of mnth term right so smn we have to find out what will this be 
is will be simply mn by 2 so number of terms by 2 multiplied by twice a what was a 1 upon mn minus sorry plus mn minus 1 times d 1 by mn okay what is this formula guys we are assuming uh, applying this n upon 2 twice a plus n minus 1 d so wherever n is there i have just deployed mn okay so you'll get that and a is 1 upon mn and d is 1 upon mn so now solve this so this becomes mn and if you multiply the first this thing it is 2 by mn correct and then plus mn by 2 and within brackets what is left inside the second term is mn minus 1 by mn correct this is simply 1 plus if you see um, you will get half 1 plus half mn minus 1 correct which is equal to 1 plus mn by 2 minus half which is equal to mn by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to half mn plus 1 right hence proved hence proved right this is what you have to do in this question